morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Tuesday the 8th of June. Oh, it's my big cousin's birthday today. Happy birthday Lorna if you're watching. I don't think she does, but if you are, happy birthday. Um, and today Brooke has got her first visit to the high school. So if you've followed me for a wee while, you'll know that Brooke was recently diagnosed with Asperger's, which is a form of autism. And she is very anxious about going to new high school, new environment, new place, new people, new smells. So the school had said that she could get a few extra visits on top of the actual transition day that they get from the school. Now, this Thursday, so two days time, is the official transition day that she'll be going for the full day with the school. Um, but today is the first day that she's actually getting to go herself now. We were hoping to have had more visits than this by this point. However, with lockdown, homeschooling, exams and everything, it just hasn't worked out. So I spoke to her pupil support teacher last week and he said to bring her in this morning was to go in for 10 o'clock and I have to go in with her and have a quick five minute chat with him and then me and Granny Annie are going to go to Morrison's and leave Brooke with him to get shown around the school for it'll only be half an hour or so and that way it's going to help to introduce her to what it looks like where things are what it smells like all of the different senses that um people with asperger's need to have stimulated before they go somewhere so that will be good like i say it's only half an hour today and then she's got a full day on thursday but their transition day with the school on thursday is very different to normal because of covid um, usually they would go to lots of different classrooms and get a feel for what it's like to have like a, a timetable because at primary school you don't have a, a timetable as such and then you do at high school. However, because of COVID, they're going to have to just be in the one room all day and it's going to be different teachers coming in and out rather than them going to the different rooms and that really doesn't help Brooke being in one room. She needs to see all the different rooms and know where they are and things. I think they're doing some orienteering as well. Um, but it will be a good opportunity for them to meet the teachers at this time. I interrupt this because Granny Annie's just came in Hello. and there's Lomond going over for his treat. You're such a dog, Lomond. And there's Willa going into the jeans Yeah, pockets. Willa's going into the pocket looking for hers. You can just wait, missus. What's up? What's up? Oh. Girl, now, take it nice, leave it. Leave it. That. Good ghetto. <laughs> and a wee gentle man. Yeah. Good ghetto. Molly, Molly. Come and dance. Oh, there she is. No, oh, you need to dance. Need to dance. Yay. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought Molly would have looked at me. Well done. Yes, as I was saying, um, the support teacher did say that if after her day on Thursday she needs another visit then that's not a problem, we can get it arranged. So we all feel better for that. So I thought I would just take you with us today to let you see how she gets on with her first visit to the high school. And um, yeah, Granny Annie and I will go into Morrison's while she's there as well and have a wee wander round. So that's the plan for today. It is... 10 past 9 at the moment, so we'll be leaving in the next sort of 5 10 minutes, I think, and I will catch up with you soon. Hello, it is now 10 to 10, cowboy time, 10 to 10. That's I'm not. in the car with Granny <laughs> Annie and Brooke. Brooke, fix your hair. No. Fix your hair. <laughs> you can't be going to the high school looking like a midden. I don't care. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, I don't. We'll have that discussion off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you feeling about this? How's Gran know? feeling? I'm excited know. to go in the building. Gran's never been in the building. But oh my god. Oh my god. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I or do you know. they care? <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me. I'm excited for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just excited for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh thanks. Right, anything you want to say? No. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nightmare. <laughs> well, so far so good. She went in quite happy, didn't she? She didn't bat an eye. No, she was fine. So, and he seems really nice. And uh, he's just, he basically said, hello, goodbye. <laughs> in other words, just leave us to it. So we're just going to go into Morrison's to get a few bits and pieces and then we'll come back for it. Mm -hmm. But, so far so good. 
we'll see if she's more talkative when we pick her up. <laughs> she's a big like bugger. <laughs> Here she's coming. So, how'd you get on? Good. What do you think? Do you think you're going to like it? Do you think you're going to get lost? I'll probably get lost. Who <laughs> get lost then? Yeah. I would have no <laughs> chance. How did you get on with Mr Mackenzie? Right. Good. Good? Is he nice? Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to go to him if you've got any problems? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so was there anything that you're unsure of still? Nah. He no? said to her to, because she had no questions and now, he says, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes you find when you're away. Yeah. That kind of thing. And he says, just to tell you or me, and we can get back to them. Right. So it was lovely. That's good. And you might even see him on Thursday as well. He said that. Yeah. So are you quite happy now that you've had your first visit? Yeah. You feel okay about going on Thursday? Yeah. Excellent. Good, good. How do you feel about going to school now? As in primary yeah. school? Meh. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I gave you a white bueno. Mm. Would that uh. make you feel a bit better? Yeah. Since you've missed playtime. <laughs> I've, still got, I've still got my snack. You have still got your snack, but you can have that at lunch. I'm hungry. <laughs> Grant's giving you a white bueno. Oh, there's a trick. <laughs> right. Bueno. So you're happy? Yeah. Yay, let's get you to school I'm then. Happy. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. We're all happy. Yay. It's 20 to 12, I think. Yes, 20 to 12, that's just back. Dropped Brooke off at school. So she's away and quite happy to tell her friends what she saw at high school today. So, yeah. She opened up a wee bit more once she was properly in the car and she'd had time to sort of think about it all. And she was, um, she seemed to really enjoy it. I don't think there's anything too major worrying her. Um, and yeah, she, I think she's a wee bit overwhelmed by the size of the classrooms and the size of the building in general. But basically, yeah, she seemed okay. So that's a big weight off all of our minds. Um, and then we'll see how she gets on at Thursday, have, on Thursday having a full day there because she's actually getting the school bus there and back as well that she'll be getting after the holidays. So we will see how that goes. So... I'm just back. I thought I would just quickly show you what I got in Morrison's. Right, like I say, it wasn't much. It was really just stuff that we, we needed, um, that we forgot to get on Saturday when we were at Asda. So I had forgot about my dishwasher tablets and I'm running out. So I just bought a pack of them. It was a fiver for that for 25 washes. There was a bigger one, but I thought I'll just get this one just now because I'm pretty sure they're cheaper in Asda. We needed another milk because Jack's having protein shakes for his breakfast now, so we're going through more milk than we thought we would. Um, I love these jellies out of Morrison's. It's the uh, raspberry jellies with raspberry pieces and mandarin jellies with mandarin pieces, and I just love the texture and the flavour of them. Really good. I got some more bananas. I got some fruit pots. These fruit pots are two for three pounds. So I got two of the mango... One of the seasonal medley, which is like a stoned fruit, like either a plum or a nectarine, and strawberries, and is that it? What's it say? And melon. Um, and I got a berry medley as well. So, yeah. I also got a pack of mini rolls. These were down from £2.90 to £1.50. I thought I've not had a raspberry mini roll for ages. Um, and I've never seen these before and I thought, oh, I need to try them. It is, yes, Lomond, it's edible but not for kittens. Um, the Mr Kipling Deluxe Millionaire Whirls. So it's like millionaire shortbread but the shortbread but the Viennese Whirls. And I think that looks really, really tasty. I might have one very shortly with my coffee actually and I'll let you know what I think of them. And we forgot to get diluting juice as well. So I got the orange mango and passion fruit for a wee change. Are you quite happy now, Loman, that there's nothing there for you? Are we quite satisfied of that fact? <laughs> um, and the puppies and the kitten were really good when we were out. I don't like leaving them, but I had to leave them for a couple hours there. And they were really good. So I'm going to put this shop in the way and grab a coffee. I have not had anything to eat or drink properly yet. And uh, it's 20 to 12, so that's what I'm going to do now. Hey, Vanna, the bag's empty, I'm afraid. It's all done. <laughs>
Look what Granny Annie just brought in for me. I made them. You never <laughs> made them. I wouldn't beat them if you made them. <laughs> uh, Brooke was really in the mood for making pancakes, so her and my dad made pancakes last night and never even kept any for me. So my dad felt guilty and made more today. <laughs> So I've just made a lovely coffee well a mocha and I'm going to have a wee pancake and Granny Annie's got a coffee too. Yes, and I'm going to get a pancake because mine's in the house. Yes, and uh, we missed our morning coffee so Definitely. time to have it. I'm just working on sublimating a couple of mugs for an order that I've got and I thought I would show you my latest tool. <laughs> you know what I'm like with gadgets. This type of mug doesn't fit in my mug press. This is actually a Bone China mug and I got them specifically because me and Granny Annie love drinking out of Bone China mugs rather than normal mugs so I thought this would be really good to supplement on. But because it doesn't fit in my mug press I still need to do it in the air fryer but you need something to hold tight to make sure the image is on the mug tight and the sleeves that I've got just don't do it so I've got shrink wrap right so these are the sheets of shrink, shrink wrap and to actually get it to shrink to the mug you need a heat gun so I've invested in this little heat gun I say invested it was about a tenner or something it wasn't a lot of money and it blows really hot air and it's amazing when you start doing it on the mug I'm just going to show you it's fantastic hold on I'm being lazy and haven't got my tripod out so I'm trying to hold this and do this with one hand we'll see how it goes <laughs> um, but this is amazing watch the the way that it shrinks hold on I'm going to turn it round hold on right you ready watch this how amazing How satisfying is that? <laughs> That's brilliant and it's cool to touch already. And when I said that I'm putting it in my air fryer, I actually meant it. <laughs> it does seem a bit bizarre, but there it goes. And it goes. We'll do it on that side for seven minutes and then turn it over for seven minutes and the mug should be cooked. Right, time up. There it is. Oh, you can see through. You can see what I've got. You can tell her name's Maggie anyway. <laughs> I'm going to take it out and let it cool and then I'll show you it once I've peeled everything off. Right, so the Maggie mug was a fail because the shrink wrap stuck to the mug. It's not supposed to happen. I don't know why it happened. So I did this one instead and what I did was I put some greaseproof paper under the shrink wrap to see if that would help. And it did, but the shrink wrap didn't stick very well. So mm, I'll need to play about with that. But this one anyway is another order and it's for Charmaine from her mum and it says my daughter my friend which I think is lovely and on the other side it says happiness is family she wanted something nice and happy and to do with family and I thought that was perfect all of that little family tree so as you can hear at the moment I have got the Maggie mug back in there I've redone it wait and I'll show you the stuck one can you see it up there so it's stuck there and also down at the bottom there and you'll see it better look it's absolutely welded I've had it steeping in some soapy water I've used the wire rule on it I've used a brush and it's just not coming off so I am redoing that one that one's a fail and um, I'll use I won't chuck the mug I'll use it to keep pens in or something but yeah I don't want to show you the design too much just now <laughs> right while I'm waiting for this other mug I'm going to try one of those um, millionaire shortcake for all things let's see Ooh, look at that wow that looks good let's have a wee taste that is very tasty it's like it does taste like a millionaire shortcake but a lot softer it just melts in your mouth because it's the the whirl type biscuit and oh very nice and the caramel sauce it's like got a, a salted caramel cream 
and a toffee sauce and it's got chocolate on top really nice I don't know what it is calorie wise let's look so pear whirl is 171 calories possibly not the best if you're calorie counting because it's gone in two bites <laughs> but it is very tasty if you're looking for a lovely little indulgent treat give that a go mm. So that's the Maggie one done before I show you it properly. The brief was that her name Maggie was to be on it and that she's 70 and loves vodka. So what I went for was her name in that text, Maggie, which I think is pretty. And on the other side, I put still young at 70 thanks to the vodka. <laughs> and hopefully that will fit the brief. But I quite like that. I like the way the 70 shines. Um, and yeah, what I have discovered though is that using the greaseproof paper under the shrink wrap doesn't work because the shrink wrap just sticks to the greaseproof paper and not the mug. So when I took it out there, it was stuck to the mug at certain bits, but the rest was all just peeling away. So I think what I did do... Oh, is that a bit? Is that a bit? Hold on. That was a wee bit. So I think the secret is basically to remove the shrink wrap from the mug as quickly as possible. The first one I had left to cool before I took it off. This one I actually dumped in that basin of soapy water to let it cool down so I could use my fingers to actually take the shrink wrap right off the bits where it had stuck to the mug and it's came off. So yeah, a good little afternoon's work. I think my mum was needing these to take home with her tomorrow. Um, because it's for my auntie's friend so my mum's taking them to her tomorrow so I'm so glad that I've got them done oh and I did another one for the same lady hold on right so my brief for this one was for a guy called Angus who loves DIY he never stops and they're always saying that he's never done because whenever he finishes one thing he moves on to something else he's constantly doing DIY he loves being in his man cave and he loves whiskey so let me show you da 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 so I've got all the tools here, I've got Angus Never Done, surrounded by tools, and on the back, look, more tools, I've got Man Cave with a bottle of whiskey, and some more tools, and I like that, so that's a full wrap mug, I think that's worked out really good, Angus Never Done, I love it, love it, love it, um, so yeah, and you can see the difference in style, that's just a plain ceramic mug, whereas that is the uh, Bone China mug. Yeah, really nice. So, that's what I've been up to recently. Brooke shall be in very shortly. It's five past three. That's maybe what Clyde's barking at just now, actually. She's maybe coming in. Um, so, we'll find out how she got on at school this afternoon once she went in. <laughs> so, how was your afternoon? Good. Good. Were you telling everybody Task, about... Task we need to do this for Oh, oh my goodness, look what just came out the bathroom. <laughs> no wonder you're barking, Clyde. <laughs> oh, don't scare him. Willa's barking, she doesn't know why. I take it you're going swimming at the beach then? Or are you just wearing that for fun? <laughs> it's okay, right, Brooke, take that off so he knows it's you. Look, it's only Brooke. Look, he's quiet now. Look, oh, what a shame. Oh, Clyde, you're such a coward. Oh, yeah, big scary dog. Stay for a swim, a bit chilly. Oh, <laughs> Is it fishy? Was she in the loch with the fish? <laughs> so it's a good job you had your wetsuit on or you would be blue by now. See, he's not as daft as the dogs. He's like, yeah, Brooke, that's you. <laughs> so have you had a good day then? You feeling okay about Thursday? Yeah. Are you feeling okay about going to high school after the holidays? Yeah. Good. Right, so I want to go to the beach on like Friday or something. So. All right, just wait and see what the weather's like, eh? That was nice, so. You enjoy that? Very refreshing. And especially because um, it was quite a lot of waves, but I didn't care. I was still out swimming. Um, cool. And the water would go into my mask because of the waves. Ah, not good. Nope. You doing anything exciting now? Going to the cabin. Going in the cabin. Might have guessed. You've just had your shower and wash your hair today. Mm. <laughs> uh. Do you know what you're doing first? Have a guess. Okay. And? Breathe. Tidying that flaming room. Oops. It's a tip. 
I just went in a feed loam and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> hmm. Right, so it is 20 past four. I'm going to just make the dinner and then chill out for the rest of the night. So I thought I would end this vlog here. Tonight we're having steak from the butchers. Yum, I like mine rare. Comment down below, how do you like your steak? Jack has, has cremated. Ugh. So we're having steak with mushrooms. Jack's got some mixed veg there from last night and some roasted garlic rice. So a nice easy tea tonight. So yes, I'm just going to go and make this and then chill out for the night. So I thought we'd end the vlog here. You going to say bye bye with her? You going to say bye bye, Molly? So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in our next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.